Hi, it's Lou Brown. And someone has asked me, tell me, what does your crystal ball show, Lou? What does it show? What am I going to do? You've been doing this business now for over 40 years. You're going into your fifth real estate cycle. What can you tell me about what's going on? Well, let me tell you something. <laughs> it's coming, baby. And the reason I say that is because we have a convergence, almost a perfect storm, so to speak, of a lot of different things that are happening at one time. Now, of course, because of the virus, because of the shutdown, all the different things have converged at one time. I just heard that Lord and Taylor, 194 years in business, going out of business, shutting down. We've got 118 year old JC Penney shutting down. We've got all kinds of different companies that have been icons, brands in our communities all throughout our childhood now going out of business. Is there going to be a reset of the economy? You better believe there's going to be a reset. We've got tens of thousands of pilots being laid off. We've got all kinds of different resets within travel. We've got people stopping building apartments right now because the apartment industry is way overbuilt for what's going on. And what do we have? We have a whole lot of people that are interested in living in single family homes. Why? Because right now there's been a reset of how people actually do business, how people work. They're working from home. They want to have a separate space from the kids and the family and the dogs and everything else, because they've got to conduct their business. So they need a different type of space. They don't want to live in apartments. They want to live in homes. That's a part of the convergence as well. We also, because of the last downturn, we had a lot of folks that were uh, not building. So we had about 500,000 houses per year for a period of five years that were not built. So we're way underbuilt in our economy. We're overstocked with apartments and we've got a huge demand. We've also got baby boomers that are getting older and now they want families or have families. They want to move out of those apartments. They want to come to the suburbs. They don't like the rioting in the streets and they're kind of looking at their life in a different viewpoint. They also want to have more control over what's going into their children's minds and what their children are seeing. So they want to do more homeschooling. They want to do more viewing of what's being taught to their children. There's a lot of different things shifting and occurring. Now here's another thing to be concerned about and considerate of is the fact that there is a log jam because of the shutdown, because of the pullback. Well, a lot of people, were left in their properties. Maybe they lost their jobs. Maybe they didn't. And they took advantage of the opportunity to not have to pay their rent. All of those landlords have been trying to get into the courts or need to get into the courts to get rid of these problem residents. And as a result, they are putting the kibosh on things. And here's what, something to definitely be aware of is that when those courts do open up, there's going to be a huge rush of a lot of different people. Well, think about it. There's going to be a lot of burned out landlords, people that don't want to evict people because of this situation that we've been in and they have bills that they need to pay. So there's an opportunity there as well, buying from burned out landlords. We've got the opportunity now of being able to approach them, take over their litigation rights and actually be the one to handle cleaning up the mess, so to speak, or a reset button with the residents that live there. We want to do as much as we can do to help people stay in their homes if we possibly can. But if that's not the case, there's opportunities there as well. Here's what we know. Banks are foreclosing on traditional loans, meaning conventional loans, but the government has put a kibosh on FHA, VA, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac. So any government backed financing, they've pulled back on any foreclosures. What do you think? That's a log jam? Sure it is because in the normal course of business, they're foreclosing daily. And here we are with a huge log jam nationwide of properties, government backed loans that 
are not foreclosing. So now we're going to see all of those coming to market as well. So whenever the courts do open up and in some parts of the country, they never shut down in other parts of the country, they've been shut down for many months. And so as we see this economy opening up, what we're going to see is that they're going to have to clean out this backlog of both homeowners that have not been paying as well as renters that have not been paying. There's nothing but opportunity sitting in front of us. And we've got an, a time span now, all of these things don't happen overnight. There's a time span. And as that occurs, just like we saw in the last economy with a big uptick in foreclosures comes a big hit to the economy and a big hit to the folks uh, that um, definitely will bring down prices. So when that convergence of, of homes comes on the market. However, as I've just shared with you, there's also huge demand out there. Now, who are the smart players? The smart players are the ones that get the education, get the tools, the training, the technology, the team support to put your business in place to take advantage of what's coming. Now it's going to be with proper marketing that you're going to find out about deals that do not make it to that foreclosure steps that do not make it to the eviction courthouse. It's our stealth marketing that creates the opportunities there. Instead of waiting for it on the other side, when the crash and burn occurs, we're actually on the forefront of this, attracting those sellers, attracting those, uh, those situations, those landlords that want to get out of landlording, they, they're burned out. Well, there's opportunities for all of us there. Now, what you want to do is get yourself positioned. Now I've got a few ways that I can help you do that. Number one, we've got a three day event. It's called Millionaire Jump Start. Now that Millionaire Jump Start training focuses on buying right and buying cheap. It focuses on holding that property for long-term maximum income. Also selling, if you want to sell and flip the property, we're going to teach you that. And on protecting everything that you create. We teach you about trusts, land trusts and personal property trusts. Now we're going to do all of this in this three-day training. You're going to get a special manual called Millionaire Jumpstart, and it's chock full of some of my very best forms that I've created over being in this business for over 40 years. Now this is my fifth real estate cycle. I'm not a bit worried about the opportunities. I see exactly what we can do and how we can do it. Now, one of the things I've designed is a way to flatten the curve, to keep yourself out of risk because definitely real estate has its risks. And certainly for certain investors, it's going to be a disaster when they go through this next downturn. But here's what's available. Once you learn what to do and how to do it, you're putting yourself in a position to avoid the risks that most investors have. These spikes in the economy and things like this, they don't bother us at all. Why? Because we already have customers that want the properties that we buy. We already have down payment money. We already know how, what they can afford. We already know what they're looking for and what area they're looking for. That's where our focus is. It's on our customers rather than the real estate. It's the customers. And I'm going to teach all that to you at the upcoming Millionaire Jumpstart. Now this three day training, this is one of a kind. You might've been to other real estate trainings. Just know that what you're going to learn from me is unlike things that you've learned from other folks. I've been known in the industry for many years as an innovator. I create, many documents that are widely used. Many people have my whole enchilada of real estate investing, a lot of gurus that you might've learned from already, students of mine in their beginning, and certainly something that I want to share with you directly. Now I'm going to be your teacher for this three day training. We're going to be together and you're going to learn. Now we're going to be morning, noon and night. We're going to end about 7.30 PM each night until the final day, we're going to end about 5.30. A lot of information, be prepared, 
I want you to have everything I've got. And so definitely get yourself registered for the upcoming Millionaire Jumpstart. All the information is right here and I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Yeah, baby.